G'day everyone, it's Curtis here and welcome to an On The Back Wheel video. Today I'm reviewing the M2R Hybrid Helmet. Let's see whether it's worth buying. Hey, before we get into it, if you like my videos or I've helped you out, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Let's get into it. So what is the M2R Hybrid Helmet? Well, it's M2R's foray into the dual sport, adventure bike market. They're previously known for making motocross helmets and they're really popular in that market. This is their first adventure bike helmet. We'll go over the features. What we have here is a visor on the outside. On the inside, we have a sun visor as well. Uh, we have a removable peak, so you can make it into kind of like a road bike helmet if you like. We've got a vent on the front, another vent here on the chin, a vent on the top that exhausts out the back. We have a fully removable liner. We've also got one of these quick release ratchet buckles, which I think is absolutely fantastic. We have ESRS cheek pads, which means emergency safety removal system. I had to read that one. Basically what that is, is if you're involved in a crash, emergency services can just yank out these cheek pads to avoid any further spinal damage. You know, sometimes they can cut your helmet off. So that is a fantastic feature on a budget helmet. It's also intercom prepared. So what you can do is in here, it's got uh, spots where you can remove padding and put some speakers as well. So that is fantastic. The helmet is a budget offering. It starts at $269. This particular version, since it's got all the colors, is $289, depending on where you get it from. There's eight variants, so make sure you have a look on the side. They've got some different colors. I think that looks absolutely fantastic. The shell is injection molded ABS, and it's EC certified, which is fantastic. I spoke with the brand manager, Damien, and he said one thing they made sure they did, uh, since it's only ABS plastic, uh, they actually made it thicker the whole way through. Some brands will just do it thicker on the impact points so they pass that certification, whereas this helmet is thicker all the way through. Fantastic. I'll have to read this one, but it's got a four piece impact absorbing EPS liner with a dual density crown. So this thing has all the features and is well stacked for a budget helmet. All right, now he's spoken about the features. Let's talk about comfort. And I'm happy to say that this is a very comfortable helmet. I'm absolutely stoked with how comfortable this is. The liner is really soft and comfortable and there's a load of cushion here. It's a very comfortable helmet. On my first couple of rides, I thought the back here might dig in a little bit. It's quite pronounced, the cushion there. Uh, but I've gotten used to it completely and the helmet is worn into my head. And now it's absolutely fantastic even on all day rides. I am so impressed with the comfort levels on this. The ratcheting buckle, these things are absolutely fantastic. To get it on and off, you don't have to take your gloves off or fiddle around with it. They're so easy to use and adjust. I love them. The liner is easy to remove. So when you get stinky and sweaty or you get muddy or something, you just take it out and put it in the wash. I love that feature. It is an extremely comfortable helmet. I'm happy to report that this thing, it is rock solid, there's no flex to it. I know in some cheap helmets you grab me like, man, this just feels like a cheap helmet. This feels like a much more expensive helmet. So they've done a great job on safety and comfort. So you're thinking it's a budget helmet, they got to skimp somewhere, and yes, they have. Uh, for me, the visor is a little bit tough and sticky. Uh, to compensate that, I've just sprayed a little bit of lubricant up here. Uh, and that has really helped, but it's still you can see when you lock it as well It's got this kind of locking button there. There's no way to really push it in so it's kind of cracks open uh, It pushes in there. So I'm a bit worried that might wear in the future Most of the time I, don't, I only have it shut all the way to that position and not locked all the way down But yeah, that's definitely a bit tough. Also the internal visor is quite tough It's very tough especially when you're riding here like ugh, you're trying to open it and shut it I will have to lubricate that as well. The internal visor. I have to say I'm an absolute convert. Uh, I was skeptical at first because I've always been one to wear sunglasses. I need to have a clear visor because I do shift work and a lot of night riding. It is fantastic. I really enjoy it now. Gets sunny, boom, just pop it down. Gets dark or nighttime, flick it back up. Fantastic. A thing that is annoying though is it sits a little bit low and just touches the bridge of my nose. And I don't have a big honker, it's not too bad and it just touches it and brushes it, kind of tickles it. It's a little bit annoying. You do get used to it and you find you just forget about it longer rides, but when you move your head around again or you put it down to begin with, you will notice it is there. Ventilation's pretty good. You open these up and it will demist your visor really quickly. I like the ventilation. Wind noise, it is a little bit loud, guys. I haven't had my in-ears lately and I have noticed a noise. It's a little bit rowdy. I've tried it on multiple bikes. It's not too bad. In general, just a little bit louder than average. I'm happy to report that this thing holds up in the crash and I'm still here standing. 
I crashed probably two dozen times with this helmet on and a couple of those occasions I have hit my head on the ground. It is held up absolutely fantastic. There have only been slow speed off-road crashes, but I'm very happy with how this has performed. The other day I even landed peak first and there's no damage to it. And um, I'm really happy with how this helmet is holding up. I 100% recommend this helmet. I mean, for the price, it's an absolute steal. It looks fantastic. It's sturdy, it's comfortable. A little bit loud and the ratchets aren't perfect, but I mean, for the price, what more could you want? It is absolutely fantastic. They are bringing a higher end composite helmet out next year. I am really looking forward to see what they do with that one. And I 100% recommend this helmet. It is fantastic for the price. All right, everyone, that's it from me. I hope you liked the review. If you haven't, check out my other content. Click that subscribe button and keep it on the back wheel. Catches.